Angus take off as Jeff Nelson, the leader, let us have a lift the tail for us before we accelerate it. Very important training exercises, learning at low speed what they would need to do if the Spitfires and Hurricanes. And once the Spitfires and Hurricanes are in place, you'll see that the same technique. These are tail dragger aircraft, so the lasers are high in the air, so for landing and for taxiing. You have to master weaving the aircraft on the other carriage as well, which again is very similar to that of a Spitfire, unlike a Hurricane. This means you have to handle the aircraft. On their left is a remarkable man, David's sister, former fighter pilot flying the lightnings and uh, Flew to Australia solo in a Tiger Moth back in 1978. Leading the next pick is 1911, who runs an air ambulance service. On his right is Jonathan Turt, who by a die cast model of the Tiger Moth. Uh, it will be this exact model with his exact registration. On his left is Jerry Rendell, a former VC 10 and Concorde captain. And the final pick is led by uh, Robin Russell with David Wildridge. Um, Robert Russell is a former fighter pilot as well on Phantoms and F-4s and three strike masters for the Sultan of Oman's Air Force and also Hercules. And he's now an instructor on, uh, on Tiger Moth and White Warfel. Um, so if you want to go and learn from scratch, that's around again to see. Let's say on his right was David Wildridge, a former F-4 Tornado, uh, F-4 Phantom and Tornado pilot also a polo player, uh, but you'll find him on TV shortly where he's going to be teaching the comedian Jack Whitehall how to play elephant polo, something which he's an expert as he used to be part of the <laughs> world championship winning team. The one thing that the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed is this actually isn't line type off, this is loaded aircraft. I keep quiet as they come by, you listen to those gorgeous 130 horsepower to have a gypsy major engines. some used for power dropping and they were all painted in these jolly colours. Again, beautiful formation there. They make it look easy. But you've got such light wing loading, you're being bounced up and down all the time. see the Moth Major on the far right-hand side of his straight wings, distinctly different from the swept wing of the Tiger Moth. Now, the swept wing was created by taking that very same straight wing and moving the centre forward. And this allowed that the instructor who sat in the sitting forward cockpit allows him to be able to uh, get out if he has to in a hurry. He hasn't got a wing above him. Now we see the synchro pair dropping away. Keep your eyes on them. Are they going to come forward and make the synchro break? Get those cameras ready. Power <laughs> breaking. Now they'll turn swiftly towards each other and charge at one another. Well, like a pair of medieval Jousting knights with our lances drawn, knights in shining tiger moths. And I'll get quite close to each other. You'd have to be quite quick with your camera to get this shot, but uh, give it a go. Up to the main pack who are up there in the clouds. They'll shortly be turning towards us. 
and then diving, and then performing the bomb burst, which was quite a... Running in now, building up speed, somewhere around 110, maybe 120 miles an hour. And braking! Robert Russell bringing up the rear with a lovely flourish there. Half two and eight. They have a lot of silver on them, on their wings in particular, and in fact, the entire aircraft is silver, as they add it, um, the aluminium powder to the deck, on which they go stretch and tighten the fabric and seal it, um, the fabric which covers the wood and steel frame, bodies and wings of these aircraft. And it stops them from degrading in the sunshine. So anything you can see that isn't silver, it's been painted over the silver. It's so close. And now we're going to put themselves into a big long line for the final flight past. And as we've already displays today, please wave your flag, so you can fly and wave your hands in appreciation. Because they'll be able to see that. They won't be able to hear anything, but they'll be able to see all of these people waving. And if you've enjoyed it, I think it's watching the doctor and the panic up as the mothers and riders come into the view. side of it to be repaired. 100 were repaired at Calvi during the Battle of Britain, and 80,000 aircraft were repaired there during the Second World War, um, which were highly tied up with Tiger Moths. Um, obviously, this aircraft having been built, the Air Transport Auxiliary, which was an eighth of which pilots were out women, used to go and transport these, and they used the Tiger Moth, obviously it's the aircraft to be transported, and an aircraft to go and take their ferry pilots back to base at White Wolfram, um, September of 39, um, 81 squadron to a small field near Amiens, where the Tiger Line has made a, uh, a celebratory fly past in formation uh, of looking out for submarines, and were quite effective there because they kept the submarines uh, U-boats periscopes down so they didn't wait the sight of, um, of aircraft being around at all. The fact that these were